Once upon a time, ten suns rose in the sky, scorching many crops and people to death. A brave man called Ho Yi came to rescue them. He excelled at archery and shot down nine of the suns. Only one sun was left in the sky to give people light and warmth. On hearing of his amazing feat, people came from far and wide to admire Yi. Among his admirers was Peng Ming, whom Yi accepted as his apprentice. Even the immortals noticed Ho Yi. One day, the Queen of Heaven came down to Earth. She told Yi that as a reward for his bravery, the gods would give him an elixir of immortality, so that he could drink it and join them in heaven. But Yi was married to a beautiful and kind woman, Chang Er, who he loved dearly. He wanted to be immortal, but he wanted to spend his life with her more, so he gave the elixir to his wife and asked her to hide it away. But Peng Ming broke into Yi's house while he was away and demanded the elixir. Chang Er couldn't fight him, but she wouldn't allow such a man to have the elixir. She drank it herself and immediately ascended into the skies. When Ho Yi didn't find his wife at home, he went looking for her. The night was bright with the full moon rising high above him. Yi looked up and was amazed to see a figure which looked like his wife appear in the moon. Chang Er's love for Ho Yi drew her towards the moon, which was the nearest place to earth in the heavens. Upon realizing what had happened, Ho Yi brought her favorite foods, cakes and fruit out in the moonlight to share with his wife. On hearing the story, many people participated in bringing their offerings to the moon. This is one of the origin myths of the moon festival.